Although this video is made specially for the 2019 and newer 4500, 5500, and 6500 trucks, the wire location and color for the cargo light circuit is the same for all GM trucks from 2014 and newer, including the 1500, 2500, and 3500s. It's just especially useful to use the circuit for those who have the 2019 and newer 4500, 5500, and 6500 Chevy Silverado, GMC Sierra, or International CV with upfitter switches. In case you didn't know, International's pickup, the CV, is a GM truck. These are the upfitter or auxiliary switches on the center console under the climate control. There are seven switches there, but some of them will be taken up by other functions such as traction control, cargo light, PTO. If your truck is tricked out with all the toys, you've screwed yourself out of just about all your auxiliary switches. On this truck, for instance, the auxiliary switches are taken up by traction control, cargo light, exhaust brake, PTO, and air suspension. And if you have air suspension, the last switch is disabled entirely because it's used as a warding light for the air suspension. Thanks GM for leaving me this one auxiliary switch, right? Well, you can free up one more switch as an auxiliary switch by using the cargo light switch. Let's say you want to hook up work lights. You can use the cargo light switch and leave that precious auxiliary switch for something else. The symbol on the switch kind of resembles a work light anyway, and this circuit is useful because it's always hot, meaning the key doesn't have to be on. The output wire for this switch is not part of the auxiliary switch harness that's under the dash near your left foot. It's at the right end of the dash behind the fuse box. I'll show you how to access it and what wire to tap into. Let's get started. This cover is on there really tight. It'll feel like it's gonna break, but it probably won't. This is the fuse box on a 2020 Silverado 4500. If you have a 2018 or older Silverado, this will look familiar to you. For some reason, the larger trucks are still using the old fuse box. The fuse box for the 3500 smaller trucks have changed though. To remove this type of fuse box, undo this fastener that holds the wire harness. Press this tab inward and pull the fuse box out a bit. Then press this other tab on top to pull it out completely. The wire you're looking for is white with a purple stripe. If yours has the newer style fuse box, the white and purple wire won't be in this exact position on the connector, but it's there. Now keep in mind, while the upfitter auxiliary switches are on 30 amp circuits, the cargo light switch is on a 15 amp circuit. A good rule is to not run more than half of that circuit's rating, so if you need to run more than 7.5 amps off this circuit, just use this wire to switch on a relay. If you plan on disabling the cargo lights, you can cut this wire. If you still want the cargo lights to come on with the switch, splice into the wire. I'll be splicing on this one. When splicing, I'm totally against the use of T-taps. These things will always kick you in the nuts years later. Soldering is the best way to tap into a wire. I'm going to strip off some of the insulation without cutting the copper wire. Wrap my new wire on. Solder them together. Milwaukee cordless soldering iron, smartest tool I bought in the last five years. Wrap it with electrical tape. Then put a zip tie over the tape to make sure it never comes loose. And now you've got yourself an extra auxiliary switch. Thanks GM.